Now the first section of the course is really composed of unit one and unit two. And this is where we're gonna be really concentrating on really mastering those French cooking basics. So what we're gonna find in the first unit, it's all dedicated to the organization in the kitchen. We're gonna learn about utensils, about cookware, about knives and find out what kinds of knives you need to cook and also touch base on the French pantry. And what are the ingredients you need to buy? What are the good ones to choose? and most importantly, how to store them in your fridge, in your cupboards, and just to get that global knowledge of ingredients. That is very, very important. In the second unit, we're gonna dive into the mise en place. Mise en place is really all about the preparation, preparing your uh, ingredients and kitchen before you can even start to cook. So there will be an explanation of what the mise en place is, and then you're gonna learn how to handle the simple vegetables, how to wash them, peel them, like they do in the professional kitchen. Of course, we're gonna to touch base after that with the knife skills, how to handle your knives, and the different types of knives, and how to cut, how to chop, how to dice, how to make herbs, and of course, the classic six vegetable cuts that you need to know. We're gonna finish off this unit with the famous bouquet garni as well. Everybody wants to know. This is part of the little things you need to know before you even start thinking about cooking. The second section of the course is what I like to call the core. It is made out of five units. And in the first three units, you're gonna be learning all the culinary and cooking techniques that relate to vegetables. So things like how to blend vegetables, how to monday tomatoes, and how to caramelize onion. And that's the technical stuff. But you're also going to be learning how to cook the basic vegetables, how to make lentils, beans, how to cook the perfect rice, and how to cook potatoes in all kinds of ways using each type of potatoes. Moving on, we're going to have the stocks, foundations of stock in French cooking. So you're going to learn anything about the stocks, why are they there, and what are the important ones, and how to make them. And we cover all of the major stock you're going to be needing. Uh, anything from vegetable, fish, chicken, veal, and even touch on demi-glace and glass. So it's pretty in-depth. Finally, you got French sauces basic. This is one of the most important part of the course because sauces in French cooking are extremely important. So you're gonna learn the science behind French sauces and the building blocks of French sauces and then learn all of the mother sauces. And so we talk about how to make the velouté, how to make a tomato sauce, an espagnol sauce, a hollandaise sauce, and what are emulsified sauces and much more. When you're finished with that, you're gonna get ready to start the cooking practice. And that brings us to the section three, the final section of the course, which is all about practicing cooking. Now in this section, uh, you're gonna concentrate on cooking meats and fish in all kinds of ways. And we're gonna start by some cooking method theory. And this is just a bunch of supporting documents you're gonna have to read to get your head around all of the French cooking methods and how they work. When you're ready, we're gonna start the big practice. And when I say big, there is more than 20 exercises to go through. So we're gonna start with poaching and steaming and learning how to make a shellfish, fish and even meat and then move on to how to saute. And sauteing has got more than six or eight recipes, so lots of practice there again. After that, we're gonna move on to how to roast and how to pot roast, which is called poêlé. So plenty of delicious recipe there as well. And we're gonna finish off uh, with the important ragouts, how to make ragouts and how to braise meat. So really, we are covering all angles here so you really get the best of what French cooking has to offer. Now, once you've done with all the cooking practice, I've added a little section called the recipe challenges. This is just a little bit of fun uh, for you to try your cooking skills. So I'm throwing like four scenarios at you and you're gonna have to create one of the given dish uh, with a plating and the side dishes of your choice and then send me the pictures in order to get that certificate of completion. And this is just to keep you busy until the next free update comes on the course because keep in mind that this is an evergreen course and I'm always trying to add really interesting updates. The next one we're gonna have on the course is gonna be baking veggies. And the good thing is that if you buy the course today, you're not gonna have to pay anything again, you're just gonna get all the next updates for free. So if you're really serious about learning French cooking, I think Get Started With French Cooking is an amazing offer. You can have all the details on the sales page and I will strongly advise to enroll now. So I'll see you all in the kitchen.